All right, we have got something rather special for you guys today. Something we've been thinking about and planning for quite some time now. Yeah, Heather and myself are going on a little swim run adventure today. We've come to the Lake District in the UK to swim and run our way along a point to point route. And we're bringing you along for the ride. All right, before we get too far into this, you may be wondering what swim run actually is. Well, as the name suggests, it is a mix of swimming and running. It's a sport that's really grown out of Sweden, which hosts the Otolo Swim Run World Championships each year. Yeah, and the format is fairly straightforward. You're basically running and swimming along the given route. And that usually means several swims that are interspersed with running in between. And as it is a self-sufficient sport, you end up swimming in your trainers and you run in your wetsuit. But we'll cover more on the kit later on. Yeah, now as far as swim run locations go, it doesn't get much better than this in the Lake District. We have lake after lake and hill after hill, or fell after fell, as they call it here, not you, Heather, um, which makes it a rather beautiful, but also rather challenging terrain, which brings us on to today's route. So I've planned out approximately a 20 kilometre route. I say approximately because, well, this is an adventure after all. We had planned to start on the east side of this lake, but due to blue-green algae warnings, we've had to abort the first swim. So we'll be starting with a run along the west side of the lake before beginning the long run up and over the hill towards Derwent Water. Along the route, there are a few small mountain lakes called tarns, which we'll be swimming across as we go. As we come down off the hill, we'll navigate our way around the west side of Derwent Water before embarking on a swim across, broken up by a couple of island crossings in the middle of the lake. Finally, we'll exit the water on the east side of Derwent Water and run towards our finish point at the picturesque Keswick Boat Dock. Let's start with a wetsuit because it is a little bit different from your normal kind of triathlon wetsuit. So I've got an Orca Swim Run wetsuit here. Obvious difference, obviously it's a shorty, so haven't got any arms, haven't got any legs. That's obviously just because I'm running in it. So you're gonna heat up and you want that kind of movement around the knees. You can get longer ones and you can also get these little like sleeves that you can pop on a bit like arm warmers for the bike. Uh, it's got a front zip, so you can just easily unzip it whilst you're on the run. It's got like a little pocket for a whistle there. It's got a little zip on the back that you can put stuff in. So they're pretty well thought through and different materials just for, um, obviously the movement of running it tends to have a bit more buoyancy you can see the thickness there on the front um, just to help you because obviously you've got that less the less neoprene so yeah got that to start with um, and then I've got this to go under again it's got some pockets on it um, for um, storing nutrition and whatnot and then the bit that you're going to think is absolutely crazy because we're wearing running shoes um, I'm actually going to wear a pool boy so that's what a lot of swim runners do so you just want to add a bit of buoyancy to your legs because obviously the shoes are going to be weighing them down and um, heather's done something similar she's got some kind of flotation things that go on her legs um, instead of the pool boy i'm also going to be using paddles um optional heather's decided not to but again just because you've got those run shoes on just want that some little extra propulsion and then just for safety we're both going to be using um one of these tow floats um which we can also store some stuff in so i've got a little dry bag as well i'm going to chuck some bits in there um that's more or less it as well as this thing vaseline because i'm going to need that um because my feet are going to get very wet okay we're ready to go. I don't know what we let ourselves in for here. We've got a little run along the road here and then we'll turn off up the hill and then our first swim. Let's do it, Heather. Let's go. See ya. How's this, Mark? Oh, steep. Oh, it's pretty hard on foot. Good work. A little bit steep, Heather. <laughs> that was the respite. <laughs> so we are swimming and running over a hill, um, swimming in palm like this just behind me and uh, Derwent Water at the end. So in terms of safety, we've got tow floats on, which you can see on my back here. Uh, so nice and visible. And um, we're also wearing bright caps, things like this. So try and stay as bright as possible. We've also got neoprene wetsuits on for warmth. Um, 
Also got food, we've got a whistle, we have first aid kit with us. We have a support crew with us, obviously the cameraman. It is quite rocky on the entry, so we are just taking our time. We're going to be walking in and looking out for each other. So Heather and myself are with each other the entire time and we'll be looking out for each other's safety. Um, we have food with us as well and hydration. Um, anything else, guys? I have my phone as well, which hopefully is still working. Um, and I think that's everything. It's actually quite cold in here. Isn't it? It's freaking freezing! <laughs> I'm glad this is a short one. We're getting out pretty quickly. <laughs> warm up after that little dip. I think this hill's gonna dip. I think we've decided we're gonna keep our caps on until we've warmed up a bit. So Mark said to me, after that last turn, that we were going downhill and it's going to be an easy few k and all we've done since is go uphill. How's the route Mark? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, breath back. That's what Swim Run Adventure is about. It's not a race, you don't need to run. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> She's very excited about this. I think we're on the path. It says we're about 700 metres off it but it's the best we can find at the moment. Ooh. It's hard to not stop and take photos all the time. This is incredible. All right, now I'm not sure if you can hear me because it's super windy. But well, we made it to the top of the hill at last. The never ending hill has ended. And it's pretty good news. Spot. Gonna be honest, after the last swim, I'm not looking forward to this too much. Alright, uh, Mark, are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm taking one for the team here, aren't I, Heather? Um, yeah, I must admit, I'm I'm chickening out. Yeah, chicken. Um, because Mark's just told me that we're not swimming across. That's what I thought we had to do. So I don't actually have to swim. And if I don't have to swim, and I'm quite warm and tasty in my wetsuit, we're gonna leave. This one too. I mean, oh, 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 I can, I can feel that. I know how cold it is. That's got a heart. <laughs> yeah, okay. You guys can give me stick for being a bit lazy, but our camera guys haven't made it this far, as you probably could guess. Kids, we are in the middle of nowhere in the Lake District, and it's stunning. <laughs> I still haven't recovered from that first turn. It is so cold. It just hurts your chest and the pain in your face. It's pretty indescribable. But Mark seems to be enjoying himself. This is an impressive effort by Mark. Hey, Sarid. I'm impressed, Mark. It's oh, quite nice. Did the, did the pain sort of numb in the end? Yeah, I think that's it. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Right, so this is the sign. Can you tell me where the footpath is, Mark? Well, I think that's where we meant to go. All right, guess we better keep going. <laughs> oh, you sorry? 
Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I should have stopped sometimes. Look at that. That's why I want a zoom camera. Big carrot, yeah. about 11k to go. Two minutes ago I said, oh, we're not swimming across this, uh, this lake. Um, Here as we are, because we're heading downhill towards it. This is Heather, and we actually are on a fell right now. I mean, I find that quite a novelty. Quite a fell, isn't it? Of course, having a little adventure through the trees here and through lots of heather. He's all the way down there, I don't know if you can see him. No, you can't. Um, it's kind of a bit like a jungle. Yeah. Um, right, he's now going across. This is actually turning into more of an adventure than we first thought. Not sure what's going on ahead of me looks like some wading. Okay, one tiny navigational mishap, but I think we're back on course either way, which is quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. look at all the heather. <laughs> I just, I've had enough of heather, it's everywhere. So pleased to say we are on the flat now. That's how he says. <laughs> I'm not sure I trust that. But uh, yeah, I think it's just more of this as we head around the lake. And then our final swim across to the finish. Because it's an adventure, we are taking our time. We're having some food now. Yeah, I think it's much needed. We kind of just realized that actually it's the afternoon and we've got so carried away with these views. We've not really kept on top of our nutrition. Um, Biting us a bit, I think yeah, I've had very little fluid. Um, a rice crispy bar. Um, I'm going to have a gel. Not ideal, but he'll do. No, I'm fine. Your, go, How's your injured wing? Yeah. Snapped it. <laughs> <laughs> I fell over. Do you on, say snapped it? Snapped it or stacked it? I sta stacked it and snapped it, <laughs> and uh, probably on the smoothest trail we've had all day. <laughs> it was still downhill and flat to the way home. I think I've said it about five times now, haven't I? <laughs> um, here, honestly, we're trying to find a good route across the lake because it is quite a big, wide lake. So we're going for the shortest route. Um, but the path to get there is wiggling everywhere. So uh, I think we're quite close. Um, but this isn't helping things. We're both very tired now. I've had to resort to my only bit of food. I really want some water, but I'm also getting hungry and this is taking us quite a bit longer than we expected. Having a little um, sort of navigational issue, trying to meet up with the rest of the team. Mark's trying to get his phone to work, um, which I think is slightly dying. <laughs> we're slightly dying. We've still got a fairly chunky swim to get across the lake, and at this rate, we're going to have to do it. There is no option. So 
Yeah, refueling. This is actually so much nicer than I expected. After that first time, I was massively put off and this is kind of refreshing, but actually in a good way. Sorry, I'm holding Mark up a little bit here, but it's, it's an adventure, not a race. The theme of the day. me it's 100 meters until the finish do i believe him how many hills are there left where is this finish there mark big one there i've been told well done oh <laughs> thank you <laughs> we've even got some spectators <laughs> 21.1k Good work. Yeah, well, well done. done. <laughs> oh my god. Um, that was just awesome actually. I must admit the first time I was thinking this is ridiculous and then up that ridiculous hill, but the views we've had and I have to take my hat off to you Mark because you did plan this route and yeah, it was a true adventure. And I would recommend to you guys, if you've got the chance or something like this on your doorstep or even a few hours away, just go and do it. Pack some stuff, plan a route, maybe take a bit more nutrition than us and yeah, go and have fun. Well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it as much as we have. Give us a like and remember you can follow us on our social media and you can subscribe on YouTube as well. <laughs>